guys, this is Judy and Jamie, Jamie from Endless Creations. Uh, welcome. This is our third and probably, well, it should be our final video for our Stepped on Bray dresser, 1970s. Uh, we hope you've all, well, part of you have watched our other videos. Uh, we have been doing this dresser from beginning to the end, and now we're ready for top coat. So we're going to show you how to do top coat. Uh, those of you that maybe have not seen before, this this is our go-to. This is what I put together for the body of the dresser. So the body is in this color, which is called Eyeing the Past. Uh, the top, there's three drawers to it, and we'll move, you can see it all. The top of it is in nice. sterling. The second drawers all the way across will be in gallant gray. And the third is in industrial, which is kind of like a light black. It's a beautiful collar. All of those are the Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint line. And we're <laughs> using the lackluster today on sealing it. And then she's also done up a sample board of different top coats that we offer with Miss Lillian's. So this one she painted, this little sample board she painted with Winchester Blue paint. And then from here, this one is, okay, this one is nothing at all, no top coat at all used on it, okay? And then this one here has low luster. You can see just a very, very light difference in certain lighting. And then this one is satin. I'm hoping you can really see the difference there with the light. I'm trying to get it in an angle there. And then this one is ultra gloss. And then this one here is low luster Duro Shield. Duro Shield. So that's your top coats that we offer right now. And then we also have an exterior one, right? Yes. Yeah, an exterior one that she doesn't have on here. I don't. Yes. So this is a, this is the lackluster. Okay. Whenever I open all of my paints and my top everything that's in a jar. I am very picky about my jars. I don't like messes around here, and I'm sorry, that's just the way I am. Very picky because I am not, and I go to shake hers, and she, she yells nuts. at me. Yes. Yells and gives me the look, and I'm like, oh, if I'm it's so only, sorry. Only if it's been opened. If it's not open, then shake, shake, shake. Otherwise, um, I keep saran wrap. You can use anything, press and seal, whatever you want. You don't have to use anything. It just makes it a lot easier for me to get off, and like I said, I'm picky. So, since it's been open, and I would normally anyway, we're going to stir it to make sure that all, all the, everything from the top goes to the bottom, blah, blah, and blah. so far. <laughs> yes. So, we're going to stir it up, and I just used this last night, so. So, I know right now we are live, but if you are watching this later on the replay, if you could do us a favor and in the comment section put hashtag replay, we would love that. That way it kind of tells us how many we have watching afterwards. Also, at the end of the video, we will be doing a Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint giveaway. Um, it's for an 8 ounce of the No Wax Chalk Paint. And you'll be able to pick the color that you like. That way they can ship it to you and... Miss Lillian's is on here right now doing the um, commenting and everything for us. So if you have any questions, go ahead and ask and they will answer the best that they can. And if it's something specific to us, then we will come back and answer any questions you have after the video is over. Um, so please like, share the Facebook Live. That way you are entered into the drawing for the 8 ounce of no wax chalk paint color of your choice and trust me we have tried so many brands this is it this is our favorite okay now what we use and we do this with paint and everything you should pour it into a bowl to con so you won't get it contaminated um, even water can contaminate so just pour it in a bowl 
And you'll notice when um, Jamie's going to do the top of the dress, we're going to show you a flat surface, and we're going to show you this detailed, how to do both. When she goes to do this, she'll be putting it in a plate. I am not a pro at the top coats. Judy is the one that usually does our top coats, yeah. so I'm not going to pretend like I know everything about it. I do flat surfaces better than I do the detailed pieces. She really likes to do the top coat. I don't know why. For me, I'm more like instant gratification, so once I see the whole piece done, I'm done. I don't want to do anything else to it. Once I know what it looks like, I don't want to do anything else. And I so want to move on to something else. Sometimes it doesn't get that far. No. Because Sometimes she, it don't. It's in her mind, and once she sees, okay, the half of it's done, that's what it's going to look like. Yep. I'm going on. Yep. Not me. I have to finish. So, she's going to use a sponge brush. Oh, well, first of all, what we're going to do, I've I already had over. Yes, you are. As usual. She told me I was going to do most of the talk, and we'll see how far that goes. Well, okay, this it. is, this has got one, one coat. I did this last night. Now, normally what I do, this is really smooth, but normally I will take... This is a sponge, and I don't know what grid it is. It's like, I would guess four, five hundred. It, it, it came from um, one of the hardware stores, and all they put is extra fine. Yeah, and, and they don't put the number. It's got a sponge on the other side, but it's. It, all I do is go through here real light. Uh, go ahead and move us up a little bit closer. That way they can start seeing. And you can see I'm work. just bare. I am barely touching this. You may not see our faces through the whole video, so we're, we like to really get you down where you can see us actually doing the work. Yeah, you don't need so, to see our ugly mugs once you've seen them. Okay. If you can't tell, we're mother-daughter. And don't be knocking over my stuff. If you don't know, just by the looks, you'll figure it out by the way we talk to each other. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we're really polite. Where's my rag? What rag? I had a white rag. Anyway, after you get done sanding anything, you always want to get that dust off, even though with this there's hardly anything. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know if that's the one you were using, it, but it is now. Yeah. So, that is one coat, and I've said it a million times every time we do a video, I wish you guys could have field vision. Somebody, <laughs> somebody needs to invent that. <laughs> yeah, because it is so smooth. Okay. So smooth. Maybe you can hear it. Right here is not sanded or top coated. This one is <laughs> top coated and sanded. It's just so baby butt smooth. We yes. love it. That, yes. That's her favorite part. Yes, it is. Every time. So, like I said, she's going to use one of these sponge brushes to do hers. That's what she prefers. Um, everyone's going to have something different that they like. And I am going to use a Miss Lillian's 2-inch angled brush. And I like these to get into the really, really fine details like this. And you can do, you can use whichever you would like. It's just your preference. And if you're new to painting, guys, you're not going to mess anything up. I no. promise. No, you're, you're not. not. Just have fun. Start out with something simple and go for it. It's only paint. I you think I'm going. I think I'm going to go ahead and let you start with the sponge brush. Yeah, that actually, way they don't look back and forth with both of us using different brushes. Okay, so you can see what this looks like right now. No sheen. Now, no what sheen I you, all, so. do you have a spray bottle? What well, I normally do. You didn't need it. Well, I normally just. Just a tiny bit. Now for bigger spots, I would use one of these. But since this has so much detail, I'm going to use the little one. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with this one. So, we're going to dip in. You do not need a whole lot. Uh, can, they, can you see? I, yeah, they can see that. I think they can see it really good because the lighting. Not till you need it, I'm putting it over here. I'm a righty, so it'll do better over here. We don't like to share our bowls. No, I don't. And all you do is wipe on. 
if you have creases like this and sometimes on the darker you can see like um, little white where you've got this and all you have to do is just wipe it off there I'm gonna try to show them maybe better yeah there. I'm going to use go. a little heavier to show you what you can do if you happen to get too much hopefully now watch I'll never get too much and you can probably see where she's missed spots that's that, okay don't worry about it you'll get that on the second coat you don't want to overwork the top coats. absolutely not okay hopefully you can see those little white areas little bumps and all, all you have to do this is all I do if you and a lot of times you don't even get those I just dab them and that's what the dry one is for And you're just barely, I mean, I'm not even putting weight on this. You're just getting that through, getting the excess off. Right down there, you can really see it. You just want to get that off. And then move on. So that's where some of the yellowing comes from on white pieces, is that puddle that pulls up in the corners and the detail and everything. And that's where some of that yellowing comes from. Other times, the yellowing is from nicotine or it just not being cleaned the right way or um, tannins coming through. Normally, that's like, normally the tannins, if you have a dark, like a cherry wood or something like that, it'll show more of a pink though. So the yellowing is more a top coat issue. Yes. And poly or poly urethane urethane is really bad about that especially if you're doing a white piece oh my gosh this is because, a water-based yeah. top coat and it has no VOCs it, there is no odor whatsoever and you can see how easy that's going on and it washes out of the brush so with soap and yeah, water soap and water so just like the paint line you can clean up your brushes don't have to throw them away like you do with the polyurethanes and as you're doing this if you happen to not get all of those puddles out if it's a teeny tiny little one don't worry about it so much I mean just go over it again wipe it out as good as you can and you'll know if it's there once it dries you'll see that white and then if, if, if that happens just take one of these sandy something like this and just get down in there and sand that part off and do it again but the most important thing is don't overwork first coat is sloppy just like paint and then your second coat like jamie said if you've missed areas that's where your second coat comes in so uh, that one yeah you can see that just go in here and you don't press. What you have to do, you see this is a funky little little area. Now if you wanted to, you could get an artist brush and you could get these little areas right here. Is that how you've done the other ones? Um, actually, no. <laughs> I, t I got an artist brush, thought I would try that, but I actually ended up using it on the body of the dresser on the corners. And you'll see why when she goes to do the top part of the dresser. All I'm doing right now is trying to get some of the white around the edges, which it should dry normal, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. And sometimes if your top coats, when you're using a sponge, the more you work it, sometimes it will get um, bubbly real bubbly you'll notice wherever you're putting it on if it does i usually just have a baby wipe laying here and this is what i do just rinse it out a little bit it's because and you've then, got too much top coat in there yeah because you're just dipping this in less so, is more so again if you're just joining us we are using miss lillian's no wax um chalk paint line top coats and we are using the lackluster to go over our stepped ombre dresser you don't have to top coat their paints 
we just do it for an added protection because in our booth space, a lot of people like to come and bump it with, well, I won't say like. They probably don't they, like to, but <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they do hit it with the carts and everything. Little kids come by, bang it up with toys. So we like to put the added protection on it. But the paint soft levels and this, I don't know if it's really called soft leveling, but it does a pretty good job. Yeah, yeah. you'll notice, because like we said, you don't put very much on at all. No, thin, thin coats. And you're not going to get every single spot on that first coat. No, and what you do, let that, let that, this is my thinking, or the way I do it. I let the first coat dry. I usually try to let it dry at least a couple hours. And then it all depends on the humidity and the weather and everything. Um, luckily, I have a air-conditioned heated shed, she shed, um, and I let it dry, and you'll see your spots. Even though it's lackluster, which doesn't have a lot of sheen, you're still going to see the spots once it dries where you've missed, unless it's a very light paint. And then you might have to get down there and just say, oh, that doesn't look like I hit that, or feel. Like I said, feel a vision sometimes that's all you need all right so since she's already got that much of it done I think I'm gonna switch you over to my side and show you how I do it with a brush and like I said I I do not do detail very much so we'll see how I do <laughs> this is actually the most detailed piece I do believe I've done with a top coat okay you're gonna have to show your top coat now no yes you are I'm going to move it up just a little bit so they can see. I see it's going to be on your right side, which is correct. Yes, it is. See, she always wins. I did that on purpose. Don't forget to like and share this video. You'll All be right. entered for that 8-ounce chalk, no wax chalk paint. No wax. So my head's going to be shut or cut off. I'm a little bit taller than her. I'll yeah. try to get down lower, but... Oh, I didn't even notice. The so, it's hard for me to see because... I think you can see that. So I start with the inside here. So a brush just lets you get down in there a little bit easier into that detail. So you'll you'll see that this technique is faster than the sponge, but she does get a lot smoother finish with the sponge than I do the brush. I'm just very impatient and like I said I don't like to wait so but if I still get too much I take a sponge and get that out of the detail. Do you have your sponge? No that's it. You took it didn't I'm you? I'm using your sponge here. Yes. You can use that one. So oh. the same purpose. Cheater. Oh my goodness. And I think you can see it better on this one because this is a darker color. Yeah, absolutely. I almost forgot that. You don't want to let it set in one spot like I just did there because it will start to dry. Yeah, this dries really fast. This does put on more than what the sponge brush does. And it's a lot easier to not miss spots because it just pretty much glides on and you got a bigger surface. So for somebody that's really impatient like Jamie, she likes yes. that. Yes. It's just perfect for me. But you can see I'm still doing it really thin. I'm just about done with this one for the first coat. And then you went ahead and sanded the one you did earlier, right? With the first yes. coat? Yes. So I think she's going to show you the second coat with that one. Really, there's no difference in first and second coats. It's just that second coat, you're getting the spots that you missed with the first. Don't you take... I'm the sorry. Coat. See, you're gonna have to have your own bowl. I am so sorry. She likes to pick it up and take it away from <laughs> me. And yes, this is how we work all the time together. 
We have uh, people actually stop at our booth and they love to watch us. Huh? You two are mother and daughter, aren't you? Uh, yeah. How'd you know that? <laughs> and they just laugh. And they say you guys are comical. I thought you were going to say calm. I'm like, huh, what? That don't... That depends on the day. Eh, I don't think we're ever calm. Okay, so this is one coat. I'm going to butt in front of Jamie here for a minute. <gasps> it's so pretty. We're going to let it dry. With a brush, I feel like you can get more coverage area, you too. You can. Because it, it stays wet without puddling it. So I, I just prefer the brush. She prefers the sponge, but I prefer the brush. To each their own. I won't say that she's wrong, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only because we're on live. So we are located in Columbus, Indiana. Our business name is Endless Creations. And if you are local to the area, you can stop by our booth and get some paint stains. We've got some of those on hand too. Um, we have the lusters and a few different sheens on hand. If you are not local to us or, well, if you're not local to us, go on to Miss Lillian's paint.net and look for a local retailer to you. If you do not have a local retailer, then go on to Miss Lillian's paint.net and you can order from there. Fast shipping, great customer service, but I always do recommend going to a local retailer if you have one because if you have any on the spot questions, they are going to be able to help you. Sorry. And if you don't know exactly what you want, they can help guide you on figuring out what it is. For the right product for the right project and everything so it's just an added bonus that I think that we give you as a retailer because not all online stores are available 24-7 now Miss Lillian's is great about being available but she can't be there 24-7 she's got to sleep sometime even though she tries <laughs> for her retailer she is she is one awesome woman let me tell you what we absolutely love you, Marilyn. And don't forget, if you have any questions, Miss Lillian's is on here with us. Just be sure and post it in your comments, and they'll be more than happy to help you. Okay, I'm going to do, like I said, this was done last night, so it's been drying for quite a while. Almost 24 hours, actually. So, we've already sanded just lightly, and so we're going to do the second coat. I'm just going to show you what two coats looks like. Hopefully you can see this. We hope everybody out there's having a great day. We've uh, we've got rain again, which I'm sure probably half of the country does. I'm so over rain. I'll be happy when spring or summer, whatever it is, gets here, just so we dry out a little bit. My yard's so high in the back that it's I need to go get some goats, I guess. Let us know where you're from and what the weather's like. Also, if you have used Miss Lillian's, let us know that. And let us know your favorite product to use. Favorite color. If you have pictures, we would love to see those. You can post those in the comments. Okay, I believe I got all of this one done. So, I'm going to show you. It's already starting to dry in some spots. So, you can see no brush strokes, even though I've done it with a brush. It's leveling itself out pretty good. And it's so shiny right now because it's drying. Yeah, it won't It won't be near that shiny once it dries. That's a black a little luster. puddle there, so I'm going to wipe that off. If you like it a little shinier, a little more sheen, just... Go with like your satin or like we showed on that board. Your gloss is going to be your oh. your shiny, shiny. All right, I'm setting that one off to the side. Good, now she's out of my way. 
I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to wrap it in a baby wipe to keep it from drying out. My baby wipe is a little dry, so I'm going to spritz it with some water that Judy stole from me. Oh, well. She found it, though, didn't she? Do, 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 do. My eyes are really bad, guys, so I'm hoping that I'm getting all this. <laughs> it looks like, like we it. said, if not, she'll get it on the second coat. This is second coat. Oh. But I can still touch okay. it up or whatever. I think I'm getting it. It tends to glide it, on easier on the second oh, coat. Oh, yes, Because definitely. you've already got a coat on there, it glides. So wherever you didn't get it with the first coat, sorry, I'm talking with my lips, only been seen. But, what was I saying? <laughs> you were saying about how easily it glides. See, and I'm the older <laughs> one that forgets everything. That's me. Hey. So, yeah. Whenever you're doing the second coat, and I talk with my hands, sorry. When you're doing the second coat, whatever you didn't get with the first coat, it's going to lay down in those spots that were missed and glide over the parts that you got. So that's why it glides so easy. Hope that makes sense. And like like we've said, a lighter collar, it's a little a little harder to see, so but I, I actually can tell that it's wet, so that helps me a whole lot. All this lighting in here helps her. Yeah, even I mean, though she still don't have enough. I need a few more. My husband's trying to come up with some way to put me one on a pulley so I can pull down over my table. All right, so I'm going to, while she's finishing up here, I'm going to go ahead and pour my top coat into my plate so I can show you how to do a top of a dresser, a flat surface, a long flat surface. Yeah. Don't forget to like and share. And no, I'm not stirring Get, your, or shaking your top you better not. Make sure you wipe the lid. So we do have the top and the two sides to do still, so I'm putting quite a bit of top coat in here. Yeah. Because we are going to be doing a second coat also. So we can always just put um, wet paper towels over this plate and it'll keep long enough for us to do that second coat. And if you get called away, you can always put every... We put things in baggies. All the time. As long as it's a zip lock and you get that zip, or get the lock, where it zips tight. And I've left them up to a week. Because sometimes it takes me that long to get back to a project. All right, they're not really seeing. I'm, what you're doing so I'm gonna turn it on to you sorry guys can you see better now I hope it's what happens when she takes over my space well sorry <laughs> you should have seen this try to set this up no I want the table here no I want the table there no I want it there well it's my my shed I want it here I won and you said I was gonna <laughs> do most of the talking no you didn't I won by the way no she yes didn't. I did we compromised. <laughs> okay. You just keep telling yourself that. I am. It works. <laughs> it works. So how is everyone's week going? Mine has been busy. Busier than I've been in a very long time. Yeah, I was laughing at her last night when she finally called me. I actually haven't seen her much for the last couple of weeks. She misses me. Yeah, I do. I don't have anybody to argue. Well, never mind. I'll take that back. I don't want to say that. To have a fun argument with. Yeah, you argue all the time with the kids. Yeah, I know. Okay, so you got that one? Uh, but look at her. She's rushing me, well, guys. I, I don't want them to just sit here and well, be bored of my I don't piece, want them so. to be bored. Are we boring you? I told you I'm impatient, guys. You want us to have a, do a dance? All right, I'm going to do this top, and then this drawer is finished. Just remember, don't overwork it. Okay, so you can see that she, the way that she's doing it um, with the sponge there, it's going to be a lot different than this sponge for the top. Oh, yes. 
Absolutely. Okay, we're done. Okay, so now we're gonna move this table out of the way, show you the whole dresser, minus these three drawers that we just did. So excuse the noise. We're not gonna be noisy. Huh. Never. See? Listen how quiet that is. Yeah, normally not. So quiet. Okay. Okay, so I've got too. my top coat in a plate. I have me a sponge, a Miss Lillian sponge. She also has textured ones, so if you mm -hmm. want to add, oh, sorry, she's gonna move me. I have to do something. So if you want to paint with some texture, you can do that, also with texture medium. I won't go into all that because that's a whole nother product and we can talk forever on that. But she has these smooth sponges that are great for top Close coats. Close enough. Yeah, um, go ahead and turn this light off. I don't want them to have a glare, please. So I have wet my sponge. I didn't, I didn't drench it, I just sprayed it. So I've got my little spray bottle here and just a mist on it to get it just a tad wet. So whenever you're doing a big surface like this, it's easier if your sponge is wet, that way it just glides on better, okay? So we're gonna dip into the top coat Get some on it like that, and then dab most of it back off of there, and then go in your long strokes. And you want to keep one long stroke, okay? Again, don't overwork it. That's all I'm doing there. I may have missed spots, but I'll get it on the second coat. Again, not that much on there. And the more you use, the more saturated your sponge will get. So the less you'll have to put on there with each dip. One long stroke now. Get that worked in there on that end. I'm not gonna go anymore because you can start to feel it kind of drag, just like you can with your paint brushes when you're painting. And I'm gonna wet it just two three little squirts there. Dip it again. Dab. Get those worked in. I do the small strokes first to get all those spread out. And then once I have all those spread out, I can do one long stroke all the way down. And you may have to do some dance moves in order to get the whole surface because this is such a long dresser. Make sure you don't have any pulled up on the edges here. I do, so I'm gonna take Just my take that. small sponge. No, but it's got too much. Oh. So I need my little sponge brush that Judy's gonna give me. And. Can they see you? I uh, don't know. Turn it, nope, I'll turn Another way. way. I'm just gonna go real light. And get them off of there. I don't have any on that end. So Make sure you don't have any on the... I don't. Okay. So she was making sure I didn't have any on the edge here. Sometimes when you over. use a sponge, it, it gets saturated and then it'll go over a little bit. Okay, my last one here. And then the top will have a full coat on it. I hope you guys can see that. I think they can. Okay. Do my long stroke here. And I only do it one time back and forth. I don't do it this way and then come back on the same line. I only do it once. And then I have some puddled up down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my sponge. Do the same as I did down there. Get it off of there. You just kind of like a feather. I mean, yep. you just barely just touch barely it. Touch. So now, maybe point it down more so that they can see that better. Okay, guys, I'm moving you. I'm probably going to get in your way a little bit, but I'm going to take my sponge here and get the edge. And I take that corner, the very tip of it, and go in the detail there because these are straight line details. And then just go and get the top surfaces. And you'll see that better whenever I do the front there. You don't have to move it for this. Well, I'm trying to get it at an angle. 
Again, don't overwork. Get it on the next coat. Get me out of here. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this and not get in the way of you being able to see. So I'm gonna dab some on there, just like I did with the big sponge. And there's two little creases here. I'm gonna do the top one first. And then I'm gonna come down and do the second one. After I do that second one, because this, whenever I do those, it gets this little lip here. Now that those are done, I can get this big lip on the edge. Just one time, both, both ways. Again, dab it on, do that first crease, second crease, and then I can just get the front of that. Easy peasy. All right, come way down here because I can't see that. Karen, y'all. All right, right there. Got just a little bit more. And you can go down at an angle here. I can see where I've done better. That way I don't miss any big spot there. All right, that's done. You got down here, right? Yes. Okay. So, now we're going to do one more part with you, and I think that's it. So, we're going to turn this, that way we can show you how to do a side. Here, I'm going to show you this real quick. Oh, okay, she wants to show you another part. And I'm not really going to top coat it, I just kind of want to show you. Well, don't touch this. You can use your sleeve. Not. Your sleeve. My sleeve wouldn't touch anything. Uh-huh, right. Okay, <laughs> the, this is a little largest brush that I did last night, and it, it worked wonders getting into here. Your, your um, sponge Brush. brushes, yeah, sorry. They're hard to get in here, even the little tiny one. So and if you want to just use, I did every bit of these. I mean, it's really, and it covered great. So just just a little trick. You don't always have to use big tools. Sometimes no. it's better if you do get the artist brushes. Because if you have a lot of detail, you want to be able to get into that detail without having that puddle of top coat. So I'm going to turn this. Want your light on or off still? Um, I think we're good with it off, but we'll get it turned and see. Okay, I'll have to go back. Never mind the messy floor. Yeah. Well, plywood floor, whatever. I may get it painted one of these years. Still have to More? Go back. All right. I think that is good right there, and I think the lighting is really good. So, I'm going to move that so I can get my bouffe in there. Here. Do you need more use? Nope, I got this. Okay. So, on this, since it's all flat, because she's already done all this detail with the artist brush. Since all this is flat, I'm going to use my little smooth uh, sponge also. Be sure to like and share this video. We're almost done, so you're running out of time. Yeah, they'll be announcing, probably whenever we get down to one or two minutes, they're going to be announcing who the winner is for the 8-ounce jar of paint in did your you choice. Yet? No, I okay. did not. So, I can't get that sponge all the way up in there, so I'm going as much as I can, and then I'll take my little sponge brush and get the rest of it. And since I'm doing down here too, I'm just gonna take my sponge and push the top coat into that detail, that little groove down there. Because I have enough top coat in my sponge that I can cover that. And then just take and go back up so that you don't have top coat going in this direction plus that direction on the flat part. What do you need? my plate. I didn't think this through. Ugh. Didn't think that through. And I hope you can see that without me being in your way. I think you can. Alright, can you get me the sponge brush, please? Where'd you put it? Oh, got something in uh, What'd you do? There's a 
piece of fur or something. I can't get it. Get me a brush, please. Where's that? Right there. I think you're going to have to get a brush. Oh, no, she got it with her fingers. <laughs> and I'm the one with bad eyes. So some of that will come out whenever you sand in between the coats. Some of it won't, but I'd rather just get it all out while I'm going along. Okay, so I'm going to take my sponge here and I'm going to bring it down. Not a lot, just bring down a little bit. Again, not worrying about getting every single piece or area there because I'll get it on the second coat. There's another one. I don't know if it's coming from the sponge or the plate or what. Probably the sponge. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do this underneath here too. I just like to make sure everything's covered. Some people don't do the underneath. We, yeah. we like to do them. So I'm going to take my sponge now in this crease where I pushed the top coat in and get all that excess off. And there you should be able to see yeah. what just came off of there. That would have puddled up in there, and we would have had a long yellow line going all the way across, okay? So that's the importance of getting that extra top coat out of there. All right, so that's got to dry. I'll do the other side. I'm not going to keep you on here and bore you with doing so the other side the same way. We have about a minute and a half, two minutes, guys. Uh, probably not even that long, because we are... Be sure to like and share. I think we've got it all. So... We'll let those dry, do the sanding, do the second coat, and then we're finished. But I do want to turn this around one more time so you can see what it's going to look like. You get the finished part. So, Miss Lillian, if you want to go ahead and pick our winner, I would love... <laughs> Sorry, my phone going off and... <laughs> Don't touch. Don't touch. Yeah. So I got it. That dresser has fell on me twice in here. It's just her. Well, yeah, probably, but it still has fell. Because it's never done it on me. It just started to. Well, and I stopped it. <laughs> this so, is Wonder Woman. Here is the finished product, minus the three drawers. That's what it'll look like. And we'll post a picture. We have to figure out the handles because there's two of them that actually broke. And I'm sorry, but these handles are a nightmare to try to find. So you can get back in the camera if you want. I don't need to. But. So she's she's saying they're a nightmare because there's like three different sizes. Yeah. And there's only two of them that are broke. Yeah. So and it of course it's one of these two on the top. Well, on the sides that way. It's hard to find just two that match. Well, actually, we can't find them, but we'll find something. Yeah. Okay, we have our winner, Susie Smith from Terrell, Texas. Woohoo! Congratulations, Susie. Susie. Congrats, girl. At this point, Susie, you need to message Miss Lillian on the Facebook page and let them know your address and all that, plus the paint color of your choice, and they will be happy to get that out to you. So thank you very much for joining us today. Again, I'm Jamie. I'm Judy. With Endless, Endless. Creations, located in Columbus, Indiana. Thanks, guys. Y'all have a good day. See you next time. Bye-bye.